All right, we are live. I hear an echo. Fix that. It's okay. Hi, guys. My name is Bruce, and you have all of our members of Table Breakers here with us tonight. With us is Baron G Rock, the Cigar DM with Cigar, Whiskey, and uh, Fire. <laughs> our friend Kai. Oh, hi. Jade of Jade's Tabletop Tavern. Raise your horns. Raise your mo Sorry. Shadow and Sun. Happening, folks. And myself. So, we are going to be doing a little experiment with game design today. And I borrowed from far better games that have been produced than what are mostly in production right now. There might be one of these games I borrowed from. Oh, I might also want to say in the uh, chats, hello to Climbing That Mountain. Yes, you're first today. Crafting Gamer. What's up, buddy? Mar Hawkman. Doom! <laughs> lady, hello, sir. Hey, lady. Oh, yeah! All right, so. Because that won't kill my voice. We are going to be delving into this experiment. And I've got a house rule build I'm putting together. And even what's on, on file isn't the complete stuff. It's, it's scattered. And I'm sorry. But that's what game masters do. We look through our book. I don't like this rule. We're going to put this in. So we do things like that. And that's just kind of one of the things that we, we do really well. Now, let's go to the show. If you remember last if you remember last time, our intrepid adventurers were on donkey back. And actually they were on horseback, but they were with a chain of twenty-four donkeys and seven donkey handlers of varying intelligences and a lady named Calhoun, a sister to another Calhoun existing somewhere in this world who was murdered previously. Remember that, Connell? Okay. <clears throat> so, our heroes are the guardians for this group of characters and they're descending down a very treacherous pathway. This is the road from about Durahai. Abad Durahai is the dwarven capital for one of the many dwarven clans. Our party's job is to safeguard the transport of these donkeys and the people and make sure that they do not suffer harm. Their, their load is excessively valuable. They're transporting silver into their own communities. So you wake up about two weeks into your trek. How's everybody feeling? It's it's cold. It's about 40 degrees. It's warmer than it has been, but it's still very cold. Sounds delightful. I, I, I think uh, I preferred it inside the mountain. It, it was just a bit warmer there. The Dwarven Mountain was very nice. Uh, as far as a steady temperature, day and night, if you were ever cool, if 55 degrees ever hurt you, you walk down to the Forge District and listen to some dwarves talk. They probably didn't appreciate you completely there, but they know that you were there because everybody was getting a little bit of silver to put up with you and you were allowed to stay over the winter interesting setup so you, you hear you well i imagine we're all kind of sleeping in different tents or a tent of some bedrolls bedrolls Bed Bed no over no overhead nothing over our heads Bed well, Bed probably a tarp or something yeah probably tarps whatever whatever skills you bring to the the experience that's that's how well you can safeguard yourself and keep yourself warm 
I mean, I'm no survivalist. I, 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 my character is looking through his book. I, I got, I got spells for this. I got spells for that. Why didn't no one come up with spells for coffee? Coffee would be nice. Nice warm coffee. Coffee would be amazing. Brought to you by Blackout Coffee. For all those, ask Bruce later. <laughs> This, this show includes a paid promotion. Apparently it does. Let me go grab my tea. No, no, no. I'll go grab the, one of my best-selling brews. Hold on. So, Shadow, what are you doing? Packing my shit to get out of this miserable weather. Back on the road. You have a minimum of 63 days on the road. If you're covering the ground, you're covering right now. That's uh, yes. 62 days longer than I'm uh, happy with. You know, we signed for this damn job, so we got to do it. <laughs> you think yeah, about... I don't know about you, but I, I can hear Milo's Tavern from here, and it, it's calling my name. Right. You think about the tavern at home in your sleepy little village and you wonder how life will be different when you have the 730 gold that cost you about six months of your life for babysitting well, I know donkeys. 700 of it is going, going into the first boat ride as far south as possible. <laughs> Maybe oh. an island somewhere, you know, off the coast. Somewhere Fair warm. me is uh, the little town where you're from, and just just so you can get an idea of, oh yeah, that, that's uh, that's a blackout coffee bag. Yep, yes it is. Ah, oh, damn it! I just I I, it, I wish if this was a full term. I think I'd make my character look like uh, Billy Crystal from uh, City Slickers. Yeah. Yep. Right now, you're on your way out of here. Your goal is to skirt the miserable ice tower. There's a little trail over here that goes past the Grimberg, very unusual place. And you get down to the little town of Five Stones, which feels feels like a weird town when they, you, when you think about it. This will be about three weeks right here. Worst part of your quest. When you get to Five Stones, it's not smooth sailing. But Five Stones, it, it balances out. Five Stones, it feels like a, a military town. And then... Just just for those of you that want to know, the hexes are about 50 miles across. And you hit the tradeway, and that, that road right here takes you to your happy, happy little town. And when I say happy little town, I mean like most routine town in fantasy gaming. Nothing exciting goes on there. You, you, you have your office, which they, they pay you out of. You have your wives and you have your, your cousins and you have your families there. And you can just relax for as long as you want. As long as that 750 gold doesn't disappear. And keep in mind, uh, the silver is a standard with this campaign system. Much like a lot of other superior game systems out there, as Kai would tell you. Uh, no, yes. So, can't prove I said that. <laughs> can't prove Unless we have that. it on tape. Say again. That's you like, we can't prove that you said that. Well, let's go back to the videos. <laughs> I didn't say that. This is like me at all. Anyway, <laughs> episode whatever of Kiss My Ass, Kai says this. Yeah, I see a lot of the things that I mostly believe it, too. All right. So, your warnings have been routine. You're checking for disturbances on the trail. You're proceeding down cautiously. 
at the end of the day, if you can cover 10 miles with the, the, the crew of donkeys and the handlers, if you can keep Calhoun quiet, you've succeeded. For three weeks, this goes by. It's a mundane situation. It it truly is. You wake up, get your bedroll ready to pack on your horse, surveillance. This uh, silver way is one of the more treacherous trails to be on. And you remember the first time you were on it, you actually did have a nasty scrap, which there was there was wounds involved. But now, after the second trip, which was a lot of headache, a lot of anxiety, and five and a half months of sitting on a horse getting uh, uncomfortable, you finally finished that. And that was about three years ago. And you were asked to do this again, two, the two years between. You refused when you saw how how little money you had that was why you all decided to go back for this and the fact that you actually can tolerate each other that is a bonus about three weeks in i need everybody to roll their perception that's a d100 Add your score to the skill result that you have on your character sheet. Jade, do you criminally roll low all the time, or is this just a, a Bruce thing? Oh, I, I roll low all of the time. <laughs> um, but that's going to be a total of 88 for me. Okay. Jade, you got me covered? Uh, yeah, I can get you. Give me a sec. Uh, your roll is a 73. Plus 30. All right. 94. Perception, 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 perception to five. If you guys so, cannot roll over a 75, you're, you're, you can just ignore what I say next. I rolled an 81, so that's a 60, that's a 86. Everybody can see my die roll, right? Mm-hmm. Right below my right below my uh my ugly mug. I'm going to proceed to stop listening to you for the next few minutes. Yeah, so that's because, I, because I have a grand total of well. I will just say that anybody I, I, here except except for our fighter, who he starts his mornings off and he he. Uh, Kai, do you do you play your your instrument that often or no? Yes. Okay. I'm very terrible at it. I don't see a skill for it, so I'm, I'm terrible at it. The reason why a lot of musicians do that up here in the morning is trying to get the the sensation back in their fingers if they slept cold that night. Helps out quite a bit. That and a couple of salves. Um, you do have a dwarven balm they gave you for your hands, and it it's nice. It doesn't smell like sulfur. It actually helps massage, and, and it feels like you get better circulation for about three hours after you've rubbed it in. Right. You don't understand what everybody else is going on about, by the way. The other four of you that rolled over a 75% total, you can hear some sort of drums in the background. And there's, there's obviously something that's spooking... The donkeys. The donkeys are unwell, to say the least. The donkey handlers are, are scurrying about. And once they start to do their job of pacifying the animals, I'll let them roll. But they're busy doing that. You hear, everybody hears a, a like a drum beat. I, Jade, I thought you were playing the bard. The fighter's got okay. a rank of musical instrument, though. Oh, okay. I was confused. I was like, wait. No, he sir. A... Okay, I got confused. When I, when I am in the book, uh, the fighters will be getting four skill ranks. 
And I might be doing okay. steel ranks a little bit differently than than most. Uh, I, I, prefer, I I really am thinking about doing like some background skills as well, or or something, just so that we don't have a fighter or a marshal type that's stuck hitting things. Like I can climb and tumble really well, but I have no skill. I have no diplomacy at all. I, I need I need to have characters that have the potential to be well rounded, if they are played properly. What? what? You mean that? My character's only my only point in life is to sit here and wait for combat to happen. That's not supposed to be what's happening. What? No, that's that's I, what you're I, I forgot. I asshole. forgot that the fighter had a. I forgot the fighter had an instrument. No, I don't have an instrument. I have a dance. Oh, oh dance! That's oh. right. He I have a dance, not not perform an instrument. I have a dance. My bad. I this up by, I have, uh, performing I have morning tai chi. That's what I fucking do. <laughs> no, no, no. We, well. get the, we get the river dance. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> better fuck than... You. Michael Flatley can go fuck him. Better, oh. better than I, Michael I, Flatley I, come I, out I, with I, his I, arm jones. I don't want to see Michael Wolf flatly in his long johns and a sock over his dick. <laughs> Why? We got that in my campaign. Yeah, it was enough. <laughs> you hear yeah. you hear drums are coming from the south. Uh, they're, they're coming down slope. So we'll have the high ground. If you choose to engage, yes. Okay. You can't win. I have the high ground. Uh, shall we go see what that is? Do 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 we yes. have to? Can we just keep yes. pushing along? No. Our job is to secure the uh, the route, not to you know you um, going to find trouble for the route. You're not but wrong. No. Thing it is, they're going to find us one way or the other. Best be prepared. I guess I do I... So, uh, out of curiosity, do I recognize the the drum pattern um, or, or whatever staccato that they are uh, drumming out? It sounds it sounds like this is a, a drum beat used by the more savage orc tribes of the Stoneheart Mountain Valley area. Oh, boy. That is not some people we want to meet. Not, not really. Um, there's three tribes in this area that you can recall off the top of your head because you're a bard. Mm -hmm. you, you know there's three tribes here at minimum. Not including whatever divisions may have occurred within the last two years. Um, I, I, I'm saying... I, I'm catching this feeling, boom a shaka, boom a shaka, that we should be going. First off, when we're traveling, are we leaving a, like a trail of dust behind us, or are we pretty okay on you know not leaving telltales beside of our transit? Right. When when you when you break camp, two of you will go and disturb the campsite to make it very difficult to figure out how many donkeys there were. There will be signs that donkeys up behind. Most of you uh, don't have a problem digging a small hole to bury uh, donkey crap in. Right, but we're not but, like. But when we're when we're marching, we're not leaving a giant, I uh, you know, dust trail behind us, right? No. Okay, is the terrain well enough? Oh my god, my god. Is the terrain good enough to us for us to try to keep, keep a ridge line or the hills between us and the sound of the beat of the drum beats? That's what I'm thinking. It sounds like the ridge line will be in your favor. Okay, so we can avoid this if we want to, right? As long Good. as they're not on the same pathway as you are. Most most of the orcs that are in this area will stay away from this pathway because there are occasional dwarven patrols that come through here. You know what? Okay, unpack out from the, you know, not pack out armor and all that shit. Stay unarmored and let the donkey, like, 
Hey, Dizzy, I, I, am I the only one who's gotten out of combat, right? Yes, I believe okay. so. Okay, I wanted to, I'm confirming this before I go up. This isn't stupid, that's why I'm asking for, you know, for everybody else. Is there a way to, like, pretty much stay a little bit, or, you know, play the outrider, you know, the, let the, so that way I, I'm more towards the ridge line and keep an eye, and let the people who are the convoy stay down, the, you know, down the ridge, I down in the, in the depressions. So that way, if the orcs are in our direction, I could possibly spot them and signal for our people to start running. Because would... hopefully, hopefully we, while mounted with this, can can move faster than some guys on foot. And if we can start running before the orcs figure out where we're at, it'll be an end-on chase, and we'll hopefully they'll get tired and bored before we uh, before we do. So that's why I'm hoping for. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if silence would be a good spell to use to mask our presence, or at least mask the the silver train presence. But how would they signal us if uh, they needed help? Hmm. Flags, banners. Hopefully, something that you guys can see and will know these things without having to you know, do something stupid like, I don't know, a flare, please no, or an explosion, please no, or hey, that guy's running really, really fast. Maybe we should start running first. You know, you know it's one of those. <laughs> 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 we need to put a sign on one of our backs. If you see this guy running, it's too late. No, keep up. Keep up, okay. Yeah. Is that the old bomb squad shirt? That's the old bomb squad quote. <laughs> if I'm running, keep up. Uh, night. Look, I'm not trying to be brave or anything. I'm just trying to, to, to go. I ha might have the ability to get there. Look and then run away faster than others. So, yeah, the only mounted fig I have happens to be missing his head. That tends to be how it works. Wait, one. Be right back. So uh, there it? might be there might be a way I can use prestidigitation to mimic the sound of dwarven troops marching through the valley here. It, 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 it wouldn't be a hard sound to mimic. It, the the so the orcs don't come over the ridge often because they know dwarves patrol the area, correct? So, presuming that if they were to hear a uh, a column of dwarves marching through the the valley here, or the ridge line, would they respond in a "Let's not attack a column of dwarves," or would they respond with "Oh, hey, they're dwarves. Let's kill them." Depends on how many there are, don't you think? Mm, yes, we need eyes on them. That's kind of what I was hoping to do. If yeah, let's go okay. get eyes on them. Okay. The ridge line, it goes, for the most part, let me detail this just a little further. You guys are kind of down here on this portion of it. Kai, you maneuver and, and and get some distance on the party, and you're about, you, you go about 800 feet away, and you can't see your, your friends anymore. They, they're, they're around a bend. I'll say that much. But 
when you get about right here, that's when you see. Holy Christmas. What? what? Holy crap, lady. Oh, wow. Mr. Flady, you, you didn't have to do that, but I appreciate that. The Wounded Warrior Project will definitely appreciate that. Um, I thank you. Flady1 for $49.99 on mobile says, Grab someone some coffee or a set of dice. Spring is upon us. I thank you, sir. From the bottom of my winter-born heart. I truly appreciate that. Forgot it is springtime. Cheers, mate. Cheers, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, sir. That reminds me, I need to go see the producers because who doesn't like springtime with Hitler? So now that I have that, I guess. There's some scrub over here. One thing I'll be doing here in the future is getting some more model railroading terrain, mainly just like shrubs, bushes, and such. I'm thinking O scale will be the right size that I want. Oh, God. What does he use? What does he use? Oh, o scale, probably. Probably. I, he, the gentleman I game with most Tuesdays is fairly old school. <laughs> old school, and he's cheap as hell. He likes putting together models and you know terrain, and he uses. I think he goes to the old railroad uh, store. I don't know. That place also, is Hobby gone. Lobby's got, Hobby Lobby's got a nice selection. Yeah, yes. No, ours is shit. The one in Pekin actually has a really decent one. Okay, Michael's the one in is trash. I just yeah, well, it's in Peoria. Yeah, just for fun, has some uh, pretty good terrain stuff. Um, Michaels. And Michaels does tend to have some terrain stuff for hobbies, yeah. It's tolerable. You can also, you can also make your own if you want to uh, give me a shout out later. I'll show you some, some places that you can make stuff, you know, on the cheap. Hi, Minion. Hey, Minion. Hello, Paul means Minion. She is a OTR lady, and she has an adorable little truck dog. I believe when she streams, she puts a second camera on the dog, so you can see the dog is safe while they travel cross country, all delivering goods and services. Okay. Uh, hey, Max. I'm, hey, Max. Max. What's happening, Quick dude? Drive by. He's very good. Hey, see, there's no grids on this map yet. Give it time. <laughs> or hexes. Um, well, you, you see three of them where you're at. And I want to ask you what you're doing. If I get it. If I could have possibly said it properly, it would have been more along the lines of um, hull down, keep my head just above the ridge and looking. Hopefully, something you've had a, I am not, I am the probably second, we didn't have a good rogue or stealth person on horseback to do this. So I can see them on the ridge. Are they about to find, about to see us? See the, the rest of the party? Uh, they don't have, they, they are about, 900 feet away from the rest of the party. Have they noticed me yet? It's a great question. You don't really think so. Fantastic. It is It is an early morning. The sun hasn't quite popped up over the ridge line, so they don't have the negatives to their, their, uh, their perception yet, but... Orcs, orcs are known for one thing around here, and that is uh, trying to play ambush tactics. They try. So they're on foot. I'm on. I'm mounted, right? I'm a good deal faster than them now, right? Yes. Okay. Chance of, 
chances of, chances of, of disengaging without having to get them uh, shooting at me yet, I'll start hitting back or trying to like warn you know warn my friends of in cut of potentially okay. bad. I'm not so brave to think I think I, I unarmored have have a chance of surviving All right. this mob. You will pull on back, and I'll get the other party members out here as well. Hail Max. What would you like to tell the party there, Kai? Three orcs. Uh, I am three orcs, probably Vanguard or the rest of the band, up on the ridge, heading uh, I am that way. In short, we're probably going to either need to find better cover move faster or be attacked. I would prefer to not be attacked. But if we have to, I'll put gear on and get ready for it. I would start gearing up just right. in case. Does All right. Does that that means no Got it. Quick question for the DM. Go ahead. Does your mage uh does your uh mage armor last the 8 hours that it does in the past? Earlier editions, or do you have what level are you? Mm, what level are you? Level one, aren't we all fifth? Fifth level, yes, yeah. So it will last you five hours. Yeah, I know I'm casting that. Yep, all right. I gotta get my little score card because our DM here was clever enough to use mana points, which comes with the numbers I subtract from. Which is awesome in the way most of magic should be used, in my opinion. Or it go goes, goes against your con, but that's for different reasons. No, we're not playing DCC. We're playing a far more uh, erudite game than that. Okay. I, know, I just like the idea that if you use magic, it has a physical cost on your body. Well,. That'll come later. Okay. Is there any hope of finding a, like any kind of channeling terrain so that way we're not just out in the open? Um, about five miles from now, uh, you get below the frost or the rhyme line, and so it gets a little bit more deciduous based. You get more pine trees. Right now, it's just like scrub. Like the the bushes are about three and a half foot high at best. You'll have like one tree out of like maybe two hundred feet of rock. And we got five miles to go. That's how. That's how like like what we got. It's, come on, it's only a five mile a five mile ride. We can do that. They're on foot. You're half you're halfway dressed in your 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 uh, gear. Yeah, I know, and I'm gonna be about as, and once I'm in that once I'm in that armor, I'm going to be as about as slow as slow can get. I'm not gonna be. Yeah, you're you know, not bad. I mean, you're only reduced by five feet. But I'm also gonna be falling off my horse every other I, every other difficult maneuver though. So I I'm gonna be helping the fighter uh, put his armor on so he, he dons it quicker. Okay. You I'd, I'd much rather have I much rather have my meat shield fully tinned up rather than half tinned. Uh, right. Jay, uh, does your character wear any armor? Uh, I do actually. So I was trained by fighters to wear armor. Okay, I was one hundred percent sure because if you yeah. weren't, I was going to cast mage armor on you as well. Okay. Uh, no, I I do I do already wear armor. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm wearing light armor. Uh, I've got a buckler, a longsword, um, and a and a longbow. Then I will save my point and not make you know. I'm just trying to be nice. Yep. Uh, prepare your fireball. Just Honestly. fireball. Nothing but fireball. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. I'll cast fireball and uh, the retreat spell. So when the fireball goes to the right, I can run the fuck away. Just cast fireball. Has <laughs> there has never, never been a bad plan? We can go with it. Um, it, no. If I if I see them coming around the ridge, I'm 
probably going to cast sleep at them um, to at least knock one out, I'm thinking. I would prefer reduce their numbers. Um, hey, at range, we can ambush them and then run. And that's not running before the rest of the rest of the horde, you know, catch this. this yeah, is but the the, there's really only one direction we can go, and so they're I, they're in the front of us. Okay, Bruce, have you ever gone skiing before? There's a reason why I ask. Uh, Bruce has stepped away from uh, the the All mic. Right. Well, it depends on how bad terrain is. If it's mainly like snow and low bit rocks, I could always just melt us a pathway down the hill. Yeah, that's. Distinctly possible. I, I just don't understand. If it's mainly rock, then it's it's a no go. Never fuck. Never. Never mind. Trying to keep my language in check for the next. Wait, we're past three seconds. Ah. Uh, they, no, they monitor the whole video now. Oh. Yep. Yeah, we're screwed anyway. Yeah, they they run it through a filter. I got a filter for them. That, that's why. That's why it actually takes so long to. Uh, do the final finishing on uh, the uploads now. Do, do they really? Yeah, yep. well, I got a filter for them. The filter I use for my coffee. Blackout coffee, that is. Speaking of which, I'm going to be getting a, uh, a new uh, coffee making supply. Uh, it's called a Save, but it used to be called Fresco Pod. Now it's called a Save Pod. It's going to replace all of my uh, K-cup waste with biodegradable filters. Can't wait for that thing to arrive. I actually use the drip. I use either a French mm -hmm. press or a drip. Because Depends on the coffee I'm, I'm wanting to make. You know, if if, if I'm going to make co coffee like my dad's coffee, I'm, I'd rather, you know, just run yeah, it through a yeah, filter no, system. Yeah, no, I've had your dad's coffee. No. Just, no. <laughs> so, so strong it melts the spoon? Yeah. Where do I get this? Your I want this. The fact that your father is still hasn't had a heart attack, not from day-to-day -day stress, but the amount of stress that coffee puts on any living soul is astounding. Look, my, my father's been drinking coffee since he was probably 10 or 11 years old, and he's now uh, 75 this year. Um, I still have a hard time. And he drinks about a pot and a half to, a pot, to two pots a day of coffee, so... You know that tar he's been he's driving around for the last umpteen years? He's sadly <laughs> mistaken that for coffee. That's what your dad's coffee is. It's the tar. That's, that sounds utterly divine. <laughs> I would drink it. I can, to be fair, the only reason I can make this Hey, Bruce is back. <laughs> I know yeah. his dad personally. We've hung out multiple different occasions. My dad's oh. awesome, dude. <laughs> your dad is awesome. So is your mom. Yeah, yeah, they're they're both really good. All right, so um, I'm hoping that I can, with my help, the fighter can don his armor before they get around the the corner. Um, if they get around the corner before the fighter gets done donning the armor, I would like to cast a sleep spell in their direction. Okay, don't aim that don't aim that spell the wrong direction there. Yeah, this literally is like the old style sleep spell where like it will cover an area and uh, it will affect the lowest hit die first. Yep. Sleep does cut off at six hit die. Oh, nice. Better than the uh, four hit die of Pathfinder. Or the, the, the games before that. But this is also yeah. a, set up for be a 30 hit die system. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. That spell should get more love. Sleep? What sleep? Yeah, sleep. Sleep is actually a pretty awesome spell. Like, I, I mean, there are reasons to take it. It does kind of neuter out later on as yes. levels increase, but for low level gaming, you can't go wrong with sleep. Um, it also removes the need to have to worry about minions. So there's also something yeah, you guys need to be aware of. This game has explosive die damage. And that also nice. works for clerics when they heal. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's Jade growing, so I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. got no luck and got no chance, right? <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I've, I've, seen, I've seen Garrett roll plenty of eights on D8s before. That's Garrett. Yeah, 
Yeah, that that's that that yeah, that's uh that's the guy up there, not not me. Okay. Like, um, like, like, like if there was a system made specifically for my capability of rolling, it is dark heresy. No, no, no. No, it's Starfleet Commando. I was, thought it was uh Amber Diceless Roleplay. There you go. Yes, there no dice are. needed. <laughs> hey, Bruce happy love shadow to it. The Emperor favors my dice. No one else. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. All right, um, anyway. You, you it's a guys great game, Connell. You, you finished getting ready or getting uh, your your fighter suited up, and that's when you see the first green skin poke his head around the corner. Um, was anybody prepared with a, a short bow or a long bow? Or, or that, a that would be weapon? me, of course. Yeah, okay. of course. Um, One of the few things I can do, Jay, let it rip. Okay, I will start casting sleep. Uh, Shadow, I meant the arrow. Being, I meant the being arrow. That, being that Shadow had his arrow ready to go, he's only forty-five foot away, and that's right. just outside of point blank range. But he's got no negatives to his uh, to his die rolling. D twenty, right for attack. D one hundred. D one hundred. Sorry, do uh, that, and there you go. Oh my God! So that's a. Uh, as you can see, the that's a four. My apologies, sir. That's it's all right. Um, you might be able to fix this. You might be able to fix this. Okay, so his shot goes wide. It doesn't go critical failure. It just goes wide. The reason why I allow that is that it's a prepared shot. He was, if it was just like impromptu, he'd possibly put the horse in danger. But no, he's been waiting this whole time been holding steady. He knows what he's doing. I'm not going to endanger the horse with a, a low die roll. The orcs give a whooping battle cry and everybody roll, uh, everybody else not Shadow will roll a D, uh, D6. Shadow, what's your next action? Duck behind a tree. Um... You could, yeah, you, uh, you could do that. Uh, Dive, roll, whatever. I don't, I don't want to yeah. be seen. Okay, it'll, it'll, it'll take you a few seconds to get over there. It'll take you five seconds to move there. Um, on your die six rolls, everybody else, who rolled a one? Out of curiosity, um, I was uh, so I had said that I was going to start casting uh, sleep as soon as I saw them um, come around the corner. Does that affect okay. my die roll in any way? Nope, I'm, I apologize. Your sleep spell goes off on six, right? Uh, it, it would go off on. Let me check. Uh, it'll go off on eight seconds. Eight seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. On eight, that's when that will detonate. That or that's when okay. you'll you'll unleash that spell. Okay. Then ignore my roll five uh, roll of a five. Okay. Anybody roll one on their initiative? I rolled a four. Uh, the initiative roll is for when you can declare your actual first action. As much as everybody says, I'll be ready, I'll be ready. There's always a hesitation. Rogues do a little better. Whenever I call for a D6 initiative, Shadow's going to be rolling a D4. But everybody, for the most part, has that hesitation. I mean, that, that's just that's just human nature. That's just nature in itself. One, two, three, four, four. Yes. Right. Wait, all three of you rolled four? Okay, yeah. I'll start from the top. Garrett, what are you doing? I am going to uh, cast Obscuring Mist. Okay. Between between us and them. Beautiful. That'll take you how many seconds? Seven? Six. Six? Okay. Yep. So at mark, at mark 11. Yep. What are you doing, Connell? Which ones do I see? From your vantage point, you're the wizard. Yeah. You've got these two right here. Uh, I uh, Those two. Then I will cast, uh, what's this spell called? Acid Arrow? Yeah, Acid Arrow. Okay. 
That'll be off on initiative uh, nine. So what, 13 for you? Yeah. Okay. And what are you doing, Kai? I have a large shield. I'm going to now move to interpose myself between the party and the oncoming horde to hopefully buy time against the, the oncoming charge. Okay. I'm not mounted because I know better. You're not mounted? Oh, gosh, no. Not I'm in armor now. Ah, no. Okay. I am a broken I am a broken neck or ankle away from falling off that horse if I'm on, if I'm mounted in, in armor. All right. I'm assuming you're you're not going to move over here at all, or how far you want to move? Um, a good like maybe 10, 15 feet, so that way I can hopefully buy. That way I can get, I can at least get an idea of how far they're trying to charge into me, and I also I don't want to be in the area of effect of any of the incoming artillery that's going to be um, coming in on me. Sure. Because we have mages and casters, and I don't feel like dying by being caught in the area of effect. On initiative number five, six. Uh, that's my uh, no wait. I'm on eight. Never mind. So we're at six. Yep. Seven. Eight. Uh, okay. So my sleep spell goes off uh, aimed at them. What's the, uh, what's your, your uh, in intelligence modifier? Uh, intelligence mod is a two. Okay. Two out of three ain't bad. Okay, uh, so my next action is going to be starting my performance uh, to inspire uh, courage. Okay. On initiative nine, I believe Acid Arrow is unleashed. Yep. You have two prone targets and you have this one here. The guy standing up is the easier target. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's Acid Arrow. Does that a D6 spell? That is a uh, roll your percentile, add your range touch attack. All right. You have a base attack bonus too, I believe, of plus five. 66, so 71. You have a dexterity modifier? I'm looking. What's your dexterity? My dexterity is a 12. Okay. That puts you to 76. You hit said individual. I need you to roll your damage for acid arrow. All right. That is what I've been trying to look up. Uh, get that for you here. So your damage that you're going to be shellacking this guy with is going to be two die four points of acid damage with zero splash. All right, where are you, Calc Rock? And don't forget about the explosive die damage. I know, Bruce, that's a lot of things to remember. Yes. It is. Um, two die four. So that is, that was a three and a two. So five points of damage. All right. Or I'll check. Yeah. It actually feels like the fight must go on. Um, On initiative ten. Oh wait, my bad. Shadow, you you uh, scramble towards the trees. Want to go ahead and uh, enter stealth 
Moon? Uh, yeah, I thought that was uh, pretty much the idea with yeah. uh, getting behind the tree. Yep, do that and go ahead and roll your stealth check. Okay. Uh, yeah, yep, yep. Working on 83. Jesus. <laughs> Roll good for everybody else. <laughs> but not me. Yeah, I, I well, see this. I, I don't know that that 04, I'm not called not good, but appreciate oh, it, well, Jade. Yeah. <laughs> no, you had to be hiding. That's what it was. Okay. Um, the three of you guys just kind of noticed that he disappears. Shadow, what are you going to, are you going to go for a hidden archery next or what? Yes, absolutely. I still have my bow in my hand. I'll, I'll continue just from that position, pegging the guy that just got hit with the splash, the air, the acid damage on right. my next action. This guy decides to charge ahead or clamber over his buddies, and he gets to... Kai, yeah. all right. That's your uh, your armor class. Is it above a uh, seventy nine? Um, which one do I look at? Active defense. Active defense. This is a ninety five. Yeah, yeah. It clangs against your armor. Oh, goody! Actually, it clangs against your leg. I mean, <laughs> oh, now we really are playing uh, dark heresy. Every shot's a leg shot. Everything's a leg shot. Yeah, well, it, on your die roll, like you added modifiers to see if you hit. Yeah. If you actually hit, you just reverse the die roll and feed me that so I can give you where the, the location was. Oh, no, okay. Katie. I've borrowed the old Hi. Warhammer fantasy role play. Take care, buddy. Good night, lady. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. I wish you understood how much, but we really appreciate you. Coffee. Okay. Coffee. All right. So, on 10, uh, 11. Yep. That's my skewering mist goes off. Okay. It starts to spread right from your fingertips. And, uh, by the way, this looks like a, a KISS concert where you're at. The, 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 the amount of, like, mist that's pouring off of your hands and out of your sleeves, it's going to do that for a while. Are there only the the one guy left, by the way? You, yeah, the two are nice. asleep. Okay. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, no, I, I could only see three. So I didn't know if there was more behind them or not. So I apologize. The drumming continues. Well, oh, crap, baskets. So everyone should be getting a, a plus one um, at, I think, a knit 12. Um, because I think my no, I'm sorry. Uh, knit fourteen um, is when I think I start singing. Okay. Or uh, um, uh, inspiring courage. All right. When does when is my next turn? Because I cast that. Then what? What do you want to do? Oh, uh, I'm now. going to I'm going to summon the uh, summon monster three. Okay. <laughs> going to it's going to be a black bear. Oh, I have a thing for that. Awesome. <laughs> I figured you did. Okay. Anybody on initiative 11, 12? I don't even know what my... I, 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 when, I was wait, when I was waiting for to get back into this, so... Okay. Um, so I was on four. I walked. I have no idea what, what, where I came back in. Um, so. Once he started making his way towards you, you could have swung on 11 if you so choose. Ah, I did not realize that. It's okay. So, is your speed factor seven with that? 
uh, six with the uh, yeah. long sword. Seven with the shield. I was just blocking with the shield. So I could could roll at that point, right? Yes, sir. All righty. Sorry, I was waiting for when I was told to I make another attack roll. No, so, I was slightly confused myself. On the completion of your action, announce what you are doing next. Okay. I was waiting for someone to walk up to me so I could beat the, beat the shit out of them. And so that's I had forty. I had, so that's forty plus whatever, right? To stab yep. them. Okie dokie. I just want to make sure. I'm sorry. I'm trying to learn this. You're, you're all right. You're you're considered a badass with your sword, by the way. And not bad with a spear either. Right, but the spear is very slow and. I need to kill people quick. Fair enough. As much as I would like to say otherwise. So now, when, you're on, when you're on a horseback, the spear initiative goes better. off your move initiative. Ah, ah did not okay. know that. Now, now, mind you, the horse's initiative is actually like for his move speed, he goes on eight, but he covers up to sixty. Right. Okay. That makes sense. So will a I so I assume that a hundred and thirty three is good, right? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, that was a hit. That, that was a hit. So that yes. was uh, ninety three. Yes. That was ninety three plus forty. So I assume that that the score goes above one hundred. Correct. I don't have rules for critical hits yet, but. I'm thinking what I want to do is whenever you roll 50 or more than what you needed, you roll another damage die as if you had exploded on your initial. And eights explode, right? Sorry. Yes, um, okay. Eights explode on D8s, 12s explode on D12s. And they continue to explode, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, so that makes Oh, a gentle little character. Yeah, and in about 20 seconds, you get reduced down to about 30 hit points out of 70. And then another six seconds, and you're dead. <laughs> Please be careful. Thirty-one points damage. All right. I need to make a system shock roll for this guy because he did more than two-thirds of damage within a single hit. I know, I know. I'm just spitting out figures here, but hey, hey, I'm listening. Uh, if, well, he he rolled a critical success on his uh, uh, system shock check, but that's not really going to do him much good. He's still really hurt bad. He done. He's not dead yet. Okay. No, not dead yet. Mo mostly dead. Mostly dead. Good for him. The way that the way that just so you guys understand. Hit points in this game for medium-sized people is your con score plus the hit die of whatever you are. So, so I assume that is the I hits to kill a, a HTKs. Yes, sir. Okay, wanted to make sure I'm reading things right. Yeah, I, I pulled out some old gamer, not gamer. I think it was Mayfair Games had HTK. Okay. The hard one had hard one had it as well back in the seventies. It works really well. What is it called? Hits to kill. <laughs> oh, I yeah. thought you said so, HBK. Was I... There's a nice little you know bounce off my shield, a little bit of flourish of a blade, and then stab the living crap out of him. But he won't die. Oh well, we keep trying. Um, he's bleeding a lot. Oh, but bleeding I uh, bleeding is different from bled out. That's I true. Fixing that problem. About the same time that happens, Kai. What are you doing next? I'm getting ready to stab him. Stab him another time. Hopefully, throw him off the cliff, away okay. from this. Sorry, off the ridge. Because hopefully, I don't want a corpse on my walkway. I want him. I want to see a tumbling bastard roll down a hill because that's more entertaining. You see another one of these miserable orcs. 
and uh, you're just now starting to be affected by this obscuring mist that's coming out of your cleric. Um, could I could I have rolled intimidate uh, as I stabbed the fuck out of his friend? Yeah, I'll, I'll even allow that. As uh, uh, go ahead, it's an instant. I rolled a lot of damage, and he's still not dead. But I want him to at least know I'm here to kick his ass. Oh, okay. Um, one hundred and nineteen. No, oh, Jesus. Okay, this is a contested roll. Emperor favors me tonight. Because you bought into that king. Uh, All sorry, right, Kickstarter. After you get done jamming your steel into his soft, porky flesh, you bellow out as loudly as you can. Oh, God. One of the other orcs, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, there's there's the drummer, and then I have another orc, and then this guy was trying to rouse these two. These three orcs, along with this guy, are considered, sh- they're, they're considered shaken. They're, they're definitely fearful of the fighter who knows what he's doing in just breastplate armor, you know, got some gambesons, and he, 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 he knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. On 13, anybody going? 13? 14? I, I, 13, I'll go ahead and step in. I'm com- completely lost on that one, but I'll go ahead and step on the 13. Okay. I will cast another acid. Wait, the guy that did you want to just do that or declare that for at the end of your round? Yeah, uh, yeah. nine. Yes, okay. I do. At, at okay. anyone that's still standing, there's the rub though, because sure, Kai, Kai is doing his job very well. 13, 14. 14 is when my uh, song kicks in for Inspire Courage. Uh, everybody's getting a plus one, and I wish to maintain that. Okay. I should oh, be plus one to attacks and damage, I think. Yes, sir. Uh, plus one to attack, uh, plus uh, five to attack, and plus one to damage. Oh. Also a plus five oh, to five percent, five percent, yeah. Yeah, and five percent to any will saves you might have to make against fear. Um, any saving throws you might have to make. Now, I have to ask. You have another bard, an opponent bard, beating on his drums. I need you to outperform him, Jade. Okay. So you can cancel um, him out. Wish me luck. <laughs> 26, wouldn't you know it. You roll a 26? Yeah. Uh, I rolled a 23. What's my, what's my <laughs> performance skill? Give me a sec. Um... My performance skill is uh, plus 50%, so total is 76. Okay. With the flute. All right. Shadow, you should be coming up on your shot here within the next couple seconds. Yeah, I'm taking it at the drummer. All right. Put it um, through the drum. <laughs> you, you won't be able to see through the growth. You can see this guy or the two down fuckers. This guy will be easier to hit. Yeah, I don't want to hit the guys that are asleep. I mean, you can, but... Yeah, um, then I'd wake him up. Yeah, that's what this guy was doing. Now he's probably shitting himself. Go ahead and make your hopefully shot. He'll be, uh, hopefully he'll be shitting blood when I'm done. Jade, nice. do the honor. Yep. 67, sir. Thank you. Yep. Plus whatever. Sorry, I, I, I'm working on macros over here for Bruce uh, to have an initiative counter. Thank you. Hey, we're yep. working to help you. There, our AC is a 75, so I'm thinking you probably penetrated. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let me double check. Bow plus 40. Okay. And it's a DA damage there, Dade? Dade? Sure. And my luck strikes again. One. All right. That probably won't penetrate his armor. <laughs> that uh, It's just a reminder that he needs to leave. 
16? Oh, wait, Shadow, what are you getting ready? What are you going to do next? Uh, same thing. Okay. We have uh, to, did know, he have, did he, the did he have sneak attack with that? At this range, that's not going to be effective. Okay. Just At right six level, he could opt for that. Um, on 16, anybody going? 17? I do. Stab again. I want to end this. I want to end this fucker. Put him in the, put him in the ground. Not quite as off as the last time, but still a good solid 94. That'll hit. All right. Like I said, not as cool as last time, but it can't all be cool. Sorry. And I also right. go on that initiative also, by the way. Okay. The bear, the bear, oh wait, hold on now. I take that back. Uh, let me know when you have a resolution. I'm, I, I, I do math. Exploding dice suck. No, hold on. Yeah. I go on 20. I'm sorry. Never mind. Oh. I forgot that was a, that's a fourth level spell. I was counting for first level. I apologize. Uh, 30 damage. <laughs> Um, you can follow through with your shield and hit him with the bottom edge at no penalty to your attack with your shield. All righty. Um, 130 to hit. That severs the neck. I am just going to wipe, just... Kind of brush him aside can, and move on towards his friends in that kind of smooth, creepy fucking murder machine my, I, mentality. So that way the orcs know that um, this is the wrong place to be. Yeah, that seems to be the, the case right now. Um, the, the drums stop. 18? 19? I, Garrett, you got, what, what, what's going on there, uh, Connell? I'm trying to figure out this the spell speed. It's a what level. What level. Uh, it was that spell was second level. No, so third level. Third level should be like ninth or tenth. Thirteen. Ninth okay. Tenth. All right. Just sorry. Just having. Sorry. No, this is what I don't do. This wizards. Um, <laughs> there's your wizard. It's going to be nine. All right. What spell are you getting ready to cast? Well, I was thinking fireball, but Kai is about ready to go pull Jason. Uh, he's he's he, not quite over there yet. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a fireball just to get this over with. Sure. <laughs> I spent a lot of time playing Space Marines. This is about as close as I'm gonna get to play for a while. Space Marines! Damn straight. I've been enjoying that game. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and unleash hell. All right. How many seconds is that uh, between? For a fireball for him is going to be nine seconds. Okay. All right. But, uh, I was, counter, he, was yeah. he was wanting to cast that, but his he's got a little bit of hesitation because the initiative system is different than typical games yep. where everybody goes and then B go, then everybody goes and. Uh, I rolled a uh, I rolled a nine hundred. No, 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 no. You don't roll your casting. You, you roll your damage dice, dude. Oh! Fireball. Fireball at fifth level. That is... Five dice six. Five dice... Damn it! I Remember, six is are cool. You I rolled a hundred. Yeah. 
How about that, Kung? Well, oh, yeah, that one. I got a 14 for you. I can live with that. Hey, climbing that mountain, how you doing? But can you live with that? <laughs> Uh, that, that's more of a Kentucky-based thing, not a Florida thing. Florida, Florida has problems with with drugs. That's Florida really weird. I haven't heard anything. <laughs> I'll be nice. J, JT's been keeping me abreast of a situation, and I, since he's put my ear to the rail on it, I've not heard a single peep from that person. Okay, so, well, we've got LOS. On this orc. Yeah. Jade was ever so uh, cool. He rolled uh, for me. It's 14 points of damage. Was there any sixes in that 14 there, Jade? Uh, One six. Roll again. Roll one more. One. Uh, one. Minus one. Let me know what it is. Exploded die. Minus one? Yeah. Exploded die always have a negative one on their tally. They're not so as cool as the original. Same. So let's say it's the same. Six? Fourteen. So the the, the six I rolled, the, the follow-up D6 roll on the exploding die rolled another one. Just okay. one. So this, it kind of flares out. Um, yep. That's, that's fine. But 14 points of damage on these guys. Uh, these two wake up screaming. And I'm this fine. guy... Uh, th this guy has oil on him, and he explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it looks like one of those endeavors where somebody does some in-camera tricks with pyrotechnics, and they film the explosion properly, and they, they give you enough gibs. You see enough orc bits within, like, a 30-foot radius to where if you guys want some unusual soup, you can scrape it up. Probably good though. My character's reaction when he sees the ogre blows up is, "I can't believe that just fucking happened." You're a wizard. Why do you not believe? It? You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Where's my strength? Um, I'm going to say this combat is basically over. <laughs> if you oh, wish well. to pepper the enemy with arrows as they flee down the mountainside, you may. One but does not. One does not uh, bother a wizard in his wizarding kind. I absolutely will take that shot. We do not want them warning the others. That's right. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I'd, I'd much rather uh, the scouting party go missing. One does not trifle with wizards? Well, there is the fact that, you know, you guys have magic, so most of the time... A well-equipped party with magic means that the bandits don't go there. They don't try to fuck with that one. They will do what they can to leave them alone. We're in combat, no, crush it. You're in combat. I didn't get any sleep last night. <laughs> go ahead, Shadow. Let it fly. Jade? 74. Jesus. That makes a 114. All right. He gets a... He gets another trunk shot on uh, one of these guys. Jade, roll me a D8, please. Four. It penetrates. Uh, he's not feeling too good. You see down the side of the mountain, there's about maybe eight orcs fleeing. And you have the two bodies, well, one and a half bodies that you left up here. But you've, you've done, earned your pay today. So, once, once you go and collect your arrows, nobody was injured, correct? Jade, no. uh, Jade or... Uh, or I don't believe so. All right. I have a dead... I need to, to, to buff out. You probably need to just, like, clean yourself up a little bit and not... I mean, you're, you're inspect the one time where he tried stabbing you, and that didn't go well for him. Uh, your armor's got a little dent in it tonight. When you get done at camp, you're going to clean yourself up. You're going to try to buff that out because it was a pretty heavy hit, but it 
it wasn't yeah. a penetrating hit. So let's uh, move up to the bodies, rifle them, and toss them over the edge. Okay. Agreed. You'll find you'll you'll find on uh, the one that got hacked apart by two stroke Willie over there. Thank uh, you. <laughs> he had four flasks of gummy viscous like some sort of like imitation pins oil flammable petrol uh not lamp oil like this stuff here is more tarry it's really weird but it burns he's got four flasks of it also had some orc armor which didn't really do the job too well it Looks like it's scale mail, uh, lizard scale mail. That then he had some fur on underneath that wasn't blessed, and then he he had a an orc a heavy orc machete, which if you want to keep that you can. It'll just do a D eight plus two damage, but it's at a negative ten to hit with because it is in poor shape. Yeah, I'll still keep it. I don't need trophies. Trophies are for uh, trophies are for amateurs. If you if you wish to keep a trophy, you can. No trophies are for amateurs. I just do my job and come home. Yeah. Napalm. That one guy exploded. Just. Bleh. There was apparently two, or maybe even three of them, that had been outfitted with oil. And if they had found a vantage point, their typical tactic is to just lob oil. And then torches and go from that from that point on. But they couldn't get to that that position. Calhoun, about a half hour later, when you get back to Calhoun's side and the rest of the train, she gives you a very well deserved congratulations. And then you proceed down the mountain, down as, as best as you can. I'm kind of curious. I know some people are not used to that style of combat where it's an evolving beast. But did you guys feel comfortable with that? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, once I got used to the um, method of initiative, like the, the constantly counting up. Yes. I'll be fine with it. I'll be fine with it once I get used to it. It was just like, uh... What do you got there, Jade? So this uh, is just, you know, quick macros that I made. Oh. Um, so, you know, I can ascend initiative every round, and then I can also zero it out. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm going to need to up my IT skill here before too long. Um, <laughs> this is just using Google Sheets. Nothing special. As you proceeding about maybe three weeks into this, and the whole time you've been waking up, doing your patrol, staying ahead of the, the donkey train, checking in with her about three to four times a day, but staying about a quarter mile ahead. And you've been finding orc signs each and every day. So between your rogue or your skilled individual, and fighter and everybody else chipping in you don't have a day that you, have, you know you're you're you got a little bit of anxiety because you know this group is is still out there trying to put themselves in a better position on you but after about three weeks of waking up sometimes the weather's not great springtime is not the greatest in up here in the mountains Two days go by and you don't see trips don't see any orc sign hopefully we've been moving faster than they have i hope right orcs can be inspired to move fast yes it's, they they can be Just don't paint them red pushed oh gosh it, 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 wrong orcs i love these orcs though if there does orcs please yes <laughs> 
I, I'd rather have blue orcs than red orcs. I want I want green orcs that are painted red. I see a green orc and I want to paint it. Sorry. About. There's a, there's a pass passageway about maybe 140 miles from where you encountered the orcs the first time, and it gets a little skinny, a little slender, going through there. And Calhoun tells you that day, you haven't seen orcs for two, three weeks now. We've been we're two, three days now, and they've been there every day. We've been encountering either they've they've left footprints or they've arrows. And once you guys get to the the Dead Man's Pass, which is about maybe three hundred feet of single donkey trailing, it, it's it's a little worrisome. Anybody here have a handle animals ability? Surprisingly, no. I, I have. have a, of course, no. Nope. Negative. I have. I don't like fucking donkey skill. Okay. But no. Most of the donkeys, like actually, these ones here have a purpose and so whenever you're interacting with them whenever you're doing anything with them they're tolerating you you're not their handler but they recognize that you're there and probably the fact that a lot of the donkey handlers keep saying things like he's a friend he's a good guy he's a good friend he's a good guy give him this carrot give him this carrot give him this carrot and that's that's how they've got the donkeys to behave because one of the donkeys is just loaded down with carrots. And it kills him. Because he's like, I want I want that bag. I want that bag. Every time they reach in that bag, they have to give the donkey a carrot. So they're, they're, eventually, they call that donkey carrot. Because of the tax he makes for them. But you're working with these donkeys. And they, they treat you guys fairly decent. They don't try to bite you. Anybody who's ever worked with donkeys or horses before, that is a thing. And it's not pleasant. There's no bite like a donkey bite. At least they're not camels. Hi, Janet. So. <laughs> crafting gamer. A madman comes running out of the woods screaming, donkey handlers, you're stupid. That will not end well for him. No. <laughs> no. Hey, I know We're testing scary. the combat system of this RPG. What happened? Uh, guy runs out of the woods and he's screaming, donkey handlers are stupid. I roll. I roll. I roll. Um, first off, remember, job is to keep the, don the donkeys alive and safe. This is a madman who might threaten the donkeys. Thus, rules are, I, I, rules are simple. Kill him. Keep donkeys safe. So, I can't argue with that logic, I guess. No. I'm sorry. I'm a mercenary. You paid me to do a job. I don't have to follow rules. We don't have conventions to, to, yet. So, murder. Janet, this is another team of donkey handlers. Uh, <laughs> I have multiple teams of donkeys all over my world for a very special reason. Are Is donkeys anywhere? like your spirit animal there, Bruce? Okay. They are. Actually, <laughs> there's a the schnauzer. A, a schnauzer would be my spirit animal. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Uh, there's there's not a more challenged animal in the world than a miniature schnauzer. I know all the treats are up. I am, I cannot get up. This is not fair. So, these, these people work with you fairly well. After three weeks, you don't see orc sign for two days. We're about to die. I'm okay with this. Let's go. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Jake, 
Oh God, I miss Kopech. Well, <laughs> you're the only one that plays them now, right, Connell? No, I haven't seen him in. I haven't seen him since COVID kicked off. Uh, last I heard, he was still going to uh, just for fun. I just can't remember what night. I okay. Unfortunately, I, it's it's across a river and a little bit of a ways from where I live right now. As much as I love to hang out there every night, it's it's two blocks from me. Uh, you can go. I hang just can't out remember there. what night he goes. Now that Janet says hee haw, she does look like one of those little lady cheerleaders they had in that show. <laughs> did I say that a lot? Did I, did I say that? I'm sorry. That was a really good show. All right. She just wants to stop by and say hello to everybody. So. Hey, Janet. Long time. Hello. Everybody, hello. Should ask her sometime what she thought uh, about uh, that shirt that uh, we were talking about uh, from Starvate Varian. Oh, Starvate Varian. Yeah, Hunger. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We shouldn't do that on the show. Donkey's making Don't a cross. Don't tell me you guys didn't hate tomorrow. I got a chance to see him. What was it? Biggest Geekus. He was in the chat with Biggest Geekus for a little bit. And with us I'm for doing a show with, Monday. I'm doing a show with him tomorrow morning. He's an early riser, isn't he? Florida, yeah. That's just not but, natural. Hmm. Along this Bill Maintain Trail over the next couple of days, you're coming into the area known as Three Valley Gap. And this is a little bit south from, there's a, a miniature fork, like a game trail that mountain goats will use going up and down this area. And the pass here is relatively, relatively wide and mostly flat. And a midday, you find the spot where the donkeys can be allowed to graze. From yeah. here, this descends down into the Bellamar and the Uzo or Rosica valleys. It's a frequent target of brigands, and they use the forest cover and the darkness to steal whatever's left on guard. So. When you guys are on watch, there's probably going to be a donkey handler or two with you that night. And uh, they're really troublesome in Three Valley Gap area when there's, like, overcast or moonless. I take it the loader's bad for us tonight, is it, ain't it? Yeah. So, if they were going to get some... I've already pulled up the initiative counter. Thank you. Chance, like, I would wear one of those shirts. <coughs> what the What's hunger? The shirt say, Bruce? Bruce? say again. What? What's the shirt say? Oh, this shirt that I'm wearing. This one is uh, the return of the great Maga King. Because if you'll notice, that's not Aragorn. Nope, nope. <laughs> hey, I know, I know. They're going to arrest him. They're going to arrest him in New York. <clears throat> Can't wait to buy that shirt. I'm I'm telling you what, the moment they put him in cuffs, he's going to have his guys take photographs and that's going to be their entire their entire ad campaign for for this year. Anyway, this this area, for the most part, while you're letting the donkeys graze happily, uh, you're breaking out your food, your rations. Pots of hot water are made. Some of you guys want boiling water. Boiling water works. All right. So once, once you 
have rested for about three or four hours, you have the option where you can stay here. Campsite's not in bad shape. You have good vantage points. You have an area where you can put the donkeys up against the side of the rock wall and let them rest easily. Or we could try to make it to the next campsite, which is about five hours of hiking. You're going to be hiking in the dark if you want to do that. Completely up to you. I don't like the idea of being ambushed uh, at night. Yeah, I think we should take cover. I'm uh, sorry. I, 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 I think, I think, I think uh, we should uh, take cover here tonight. Uh, uh, being caught in the dark is just a bad thing. Just bad. Just, we shouldn't do it. Understood. All right, boss. You're up. Your call. You guys, Calhoun says, I would suggest we stay here. I would prefer we stay here. If you think we can make it to the next campsite, which is up about four and a half to five hours, we can go. But we'll be hiking in that last stretch in the dark. If we so choose. With that, she throws it back we in can, your... Go ahead. Raiders, we can probably fend off, but things that stalk the night, such as wolves or timber wolves, are things that I would rather not be stalked by in the darkness. Yep. Fair enough. We'll stay here. It had been a few days since the donkeys had been allowed to graze so longingly much on the, the, the little bits of grass and such. And you guys are down below the frost line now. So it's going to be fairly better shape than what it was before. Okay. Grab a green marker. Preparing to bed down camp. What are you planning on doing there, Kai? Oh, try to sleep. How light can I armor myself and still sleep? Um, you can be down to the padded armor, the basically leather. Right. Because, like I said, I'm gonna I'm trying to go for the light sleeper because I know that my casters need some sleep, and I don't want them to be miserable. So I'll be miserable for them. You could. I didn't really go on any on any of the drawbacks or benefits or hindrances. I didn't assign any of that. I noticed that with a three die six as they fall for the stats, that you have enough on your stats to mostly place where you want to for an idea. For yeah. uh, for if you assign your stats, if you do as they fall, you get an extra ten character building points and you can convert one character building point to a 25%. So for four, that goes up by one. So you're able to actually have better stats if you hoard your points. And if you wish to have more points than that, you're like, yeah, give me, give me a hindrance or give me, give me this, you know, you, 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 you gamble. You can get things like handicapped where you're, Adventuring career is over. You're now a shopkeeper. Or things like that. And character points can be used to do a reroll during character creation. All right. Which is nice. Because there's a couple points that you can make in character creation. Like if you have loving parents, you get five more character points than what you had before. And that's a 60% or less chance to, to roll that. 
Anyway, now I, I know this game is a fantasy. You said loving parents. I didn't have a bad childhood. I just had a childhood that was beset by parents that were boring. <laughs> yeah, well. Anyways. Janet, we see you. I want to know if Janet is going to get that uh, that shirt that has Hunger sitting up on a couch with three orcs or nine orcs or how many orcs surrounding him. You know what shirt I'm talking about. I think I, I, I think if she's not going to get that, we can find somebody to wear it. But I think Janet will be happy. I, 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 I think <laughs> yeah. I, am per- I am a horrible person. It's all right. Okay, so... Allow me. I'm sorry I joined the chat late from StreamYards, by the way, but I I was busy thinking about this and doing prep. I didn't mean to neglect you guys. What? What, Janet? What t-shirt? Boy, I'm going to be a bad boy. <laughs> Jay told her just shaking his head at me. All right, Blaine. Middle of the night, I imagine everybody that's a spellcaster is going to be knocked out. Right? Hopefully somebody who's got better ears than me is up, because I am a weapon suite. I am not a detection system. So. Yeah, I, I, would have, I would have wanted second shift. Um, if, if you want to take the shift, you can, Shadow. It's all yours if you yeah. like it. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, back probably a not. More than likely, I'm a night owl, so yeah. Jade, go ahead and roll that bean footage. 55. Plus perception? Yes, sir. Makes it 85. Makes it 85. The roll, the roll that has skills that I will fail. Um, yeah, you uh, you hear over in this direction that there is more something's trying to sneak up on you, Shadow. Is it snuffling? You know, making animal noises, or just trying to move sneakily? Move sneakily. So it's not a snuffleupagus. No, I will toss a rock. I'll toss a rock at Kai while ready in my bow. All right. Rocks for the universal symbol of get the fuck up. Got it. <laughs> I'll lay it out that makes sense for me. <laughs> I mean, how, how big of a rock are we talking about? Like a pebble, a, a, a stone? <laughs> Golf ball. Golf yeah, ball. Okay. I was no, at an I was at an event and I got woken up every day for a week by the lovely sounds of bagpipes. Every day. Nothing so wrong with that. What? Out of, for the rock. Nothing wrong with that. Beats mariachi prefer- music on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Once again, I would prefer a rock. <laughs> Especially after a heavy knife drinking. <laughs> oh. So, peacefully sleeping. You can hear something over here and uh, you wake up the fighter. Kai, you want to roll a perception check? I sure the heck did. A whole 61. What's your. 
plus for your perception. That was with that was with the bonus. Okay. Yeah, you guys, you guys can tell there's something sneaking up over here. And uh, I'll just put this die out here. We don't use this die in this game. So, D12? Yeah, we don't use D20s here. Oh, I said D12, but you said D20. <laughs> uh, D, D12s are upgraded uh, longsword damage. You think it's over there, and sure enough, after about seven seconds of scoping it out, uh, you can see that it is a stinking orc. You recognize? Well, I will, uh, I will uh, take aim and let loose. All right. Kai? Um, Do you want you notice that your your rogue is pulling an arrow into his bowstring. Well, I okay. guess I guess he spotted something. I bet. Yeah, and you I kind of see it. a humanoid figure crawling on the ground, very slowly. I have a dagger. He's about to eat. he's about to eat a throne one while I grab a shield. All right. Um, He's not close to me. He's getting a dagger first, and then I get my shield up. Oh, somebody made a bad uh, life choice. We all do. <laughs> eh, such is life. Yep. Shadow, if you'll start off the combat round, I'll have Jade and the Orc roll their initiative. Even though, uh, even though we all know it's getting ready to happen, uh, Jade, you'll go from a D6 to a D4 for this die throw. Okay. One. Ty, D4. D4. All right. Check, 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 check. And that, and that die rolls for Shadow, right? Uh, no. Shadow's starting off by... Oh, arrow okay. fly. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm on a two, so. Okay. So is the bad guy. Awesome. Um, on on shadow, would you roll for your bowmanship? Oh I my didn't. god! Did. I'm so sorry. That's a D percentile roll of a two. Holy smokes! Well, it wasn't um, behind a tree. Dark. Dark heresy. I'm telling you, that is my game. <laughs> it was a cell. You would be so good at this game, Dark Heresy. Have you ever heard that before, Jay? I want to oh play this God. game. I love this game. <laughs> All right, uh, guy. Oh uh, you hear the bowstring snap, and that's when you and the orc pretty much just charge at each other. He's got a dagger. You've got a dagger. Your speed factor is a seven. Uh, dagger six. No, no, seven, seven, you, seven. You, beat, you beat his initiative. Awesome. Come on, hopefully he's dabbling. I don't have time to draw a sword yet, so yeah. Assassin versus assassin. Yay, go for it. Willie. Let me know. Let me know when we start initiative one. Well, eighty-seven. Right. Eighty-seven. Yes. Roll me that D four for your damage. Five. Oops, Unless wait, it's wait. higher, I don't know. I, I don't I'm have your seven. 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 Force explodes. Right. As the orc gasps, um, everybody else roll their perception check to wake up. Uh, Shadow and Kai don't have to. But the other three do. Peasants. No, no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about going back to sleep. What are you talking about? Hey, oh, yeah. yeah. After that miserable uh, fucking arrow shot, I would too. 
Uh, let me put, let me put, hit reset on that. Let me see if we can get Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day going. Um, if you roll over a 75 on your perception, you hear the sound of combat while you're trying to be pulled to sleep. Your body is telling you sleep is good. I rolled a 98. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I'm awake. You'll I'm wake awake. up. 110. All right. For those of you that... Now you roll good. Now you're great. I know, right? <laughs> um, go ahead and roll a D6, and that'll let you know where in the combat you'll be popping up. We're on initiative two right now. Hey, hey, hey. I rolled a five. All right. On three, the orc gets his stab in on Kai. All right. All right. He, uh, with your armor on, with your, you just have leather armor on, don't you? And shield. Okay. The shield blocks the blow. Phew. It did. Yeah. I'm so happy. Yeah. Shield is saving your ass. Um, That's the whole point of having a shield. Otherwise, yes. why, why pack it? It's initiative four. So when Five. do we roll? When do we roll uh, our uh, initiative? You roll. You Every rolled point. on initiative two. Okay, I rolled right. a two, so I go on four. Yep. What's your declaration? Uh, see, stand up and see what's going actually going on. All right, keep in mind, grabbing, kind of grabbing my uh, what do I have for a weapon? I forget. Uh, my weapon, you've got, got a my long sword, you've got a base stack bonus over the five percent, so you can grab a weapon and stand up, no problem. Yep, I grab my long store, sword. Stand up, see what's going on. You see a orc tussling with your uh, fighter. How close? He's about My... 15 foot away from you. Is he standing or, or is he prone? Uh, both him and your fighter are in uh, locked in moral combat with each other. I will go ahead and step up and and take a take a swing. Taking a swing that'll take you a little bit to get over there and, and do that, but you can you can do that on your weapon speed, which is seven. So you're on five. It's twelve. Okay. Anybody else roll a two on their initiative? Three? This is initiative five, actually. But if you rolled a two or three, you could act. On initiative six? I rolled a five. You'll be going on seven. You'll be declaring on seven. Seven. Yeah, I'll be declaring on seven as well. All right. Uh, Connell, you're up first because you're on top. Uh, Mage armor? That'll... Go off on six, I believe, free, correct? Yeah. Okay, so that'll be 13 free total. What do you want to do, Jade? Uh, hideous laughter, eight second spell. All right, on 14. Goes we'll off on 15. Four. Jesus. You're right. Eight. Nine. Got it, got it, got it. Stabbing. Can I, how, how long does it take to draw a sword? Um, about a move action, but you don't you don't have quick draw, do you? Let me find out. It'd be no. on your feet. Okay, then it'd, take you, it'd take you a move action to do that. How long is a move action? Five. Okay. Five it is. If, if, uh, you hadn't done anything since your attack with the dagger. If you right. Wish, if you wish to have your longsword out. Yes. And attack, that'll go off on 12. Okay. 10. 11. Anybody on 11? All right, the orc goes on 11. So 
orc sees you trying to free your weapon or try trying to free your weapon and attack him with that, he's going to try to stop this as an opportunity. You can make an unarmed strike against him or an armed strike with your dagger. Ooh. I will try to stab him because. Okay. Well, actually, can I shield bash him instead? Yes. I will shield bash because that's a far more effective use of what I've got in my hand. Ding, ding, goes the doorbell. Is a. Yes, please strike him in the face. Um, one t- 123. Jesus. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm Another leg bash. But. Or. No, one three. three. That, that is a shield bash to the face. My bad. All right. For eight points damage. Oh. No. Ah. No punch. <laughs> no stabbing. All right. Um, you get your weapon free as you yes. bash him in the face. It gives you an opening and it reduces your time to attack with your sword. Go ahead and make your attack with your sword. Uh, 97. You do a torso cut. Damage? Give me a damage. Rolling it up now. Kick their ass, sea bass. I also go on 12, so I'll be right there, too. Okay. 19 points damage. All right. Baron G, what are you doing? So where did I cut him uh, at? Him at again? You cut him in the, the chest. All right. And All now right. we're at 12. Well, that was on 11. No murder my party. I uh, rolled an 84 to to, to sla- slash him with my so- longy sword. You catch him in the thigh? Sorry, I don't know that one. Uh, let's <laughs> see. Yeah. Not me. Uh, six goes eight points of damage. All right. This orc has crossed his two-thirds threshold of pain. <sighs> He is not doing well, but he will try to continue his mission. Um, I didn't realize you guys went off on separate se- separate initiatives. I apologize. He will try to uh, grapple against Kai. All right. But this is an action. What, that, what initiative number? This this is on I on eleven, but oh, okay. the reason why that, I thought Kai and Garrett went on 12 together. I apologize. Anyway, oh, okay. he rolled an 18. Even with an amazing, tremendous strength, he would not be able to succeed. So he's just there looking dumb. All right. That was initiative 12 that Garrett and Kai finished their joint task force attack on. Anybody going on 13? Fourteen. Yes. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm on fifteen. Uh, Shadow, when do you go? Honestly, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I went first. You came to on on two. If I remember right, you uh, rolled a three, so that put you at five. And so, if you were going to shoot an arrow at this prick, it would be happening from five. So. Your speed factor is seven. Actually, for the bow, it's uh, eight. Eight? Okay, so you go on 13. And 13 is where we're at initiative-wise, if you wish to shoot him with a bow. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to take that chance. Okay. Jade? Yep. Don't hit Ty. 23. I... 23. So, um, I haven't made much meat. You can hit me. All right. I didn't know you took uh, your fighter. Makes an arrow added to his leg. Oh. I'm so sorry. 
He tried Ow. getting that. He tried mitigating it as much as possible, and it's still. Uh, um. Well, how much damage you do, Shadow? I believe your handwriting's a little iffy here. Um, it looks like uh, a D8. It is. So why watch it explode? That'd be bad. I would like five. That. All right, Kai. Look at Ow. your DR on your Ow. character. Yes. What's your DR say? Six. Your five is good. It's it it it's fine. It'll cause a bruise. I have been slightly, I have been slightly annoyed, annoyed, and the announcer announced that that shot bounced, and then we could continue on. Sorry, dude. No, no, it happens. It's all right. Shadow, what do you want to do next? I'll stick to blame where I belong. Um, to be baseball. honest, uh, Bruce. Yeah. Do do I notice or hear or suspect there are any more of these idiots in in the woods near us? If uh, not really woods, you're on like a wide spot in the road for a campsite, mm -hmm. and to be un to be literal, there's a little bit too much noise coming from the cleric, the fighter, and the orc for you to hear okay. accurately. Okay, However, well in that case, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, hustle and, and try and get behind this guy. Okay, moving as fast as I can. Fire. Move action will be five, so uh, that will happen on 18. Okay. If you so choose, you can get behind him and do the attack, because I would imagine you'd be kind of tumbling into position to do so. And I believe, okay. don't you have fast tumble? Fast self or fast tumble, one of those two. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not seeing that. Uh, Acrobatics? Fast stealth. Okay, yeah, you have fast stealth. You, I'll, I'll allow you to get in there, and on on 20, you're going to be making your attack. Okay. As a flanker, which means precision damage. Sneak attack damage. Which will be with my dagger, which is a bit more damaging, so hopefully uh, I don't hit uh, Kai in the back. That'd be nice. <laughs> what killed it, it, the party? It, anybody on 14? Uh, no. 14? 15? Me. All right. Uh, my hide 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 my hideous laughter goes off on him. All right, he gets a That's chance. Not to that bad, Dave. You've got a lovely singing voice. Well, I mean, I figure if uh, if anything, I'm going to wake up quite literally everyone with his raucous laughter. Nope. He manages to make his saving throw. Oh, well, away. that's unfortunate. It is. That's really unfortunate. So yeah, instead, yeah. I'm going to, um, in nine seconds, I'm going to cast, um, and no, I'm, I'm going to loose an arrow at him. I love it. Keep in mind, you don't have point blank shot or precise shot. Oh, God. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I, yeah. I, I adds a shield bonus to him. Don't, just don't roll high when you hit me, okay? You know what? Actually, no. I'm going to put light on an arrow uh, so I can cast it out and out into the darkness to see if I can't get any silhouettes uh, beyond the arrow. Hello, Excellent. Friend. That was on 15. Anybody else? Nope, I'm on 16. By the way, the, the donkey handlers and uh, Calhoun are watching this very fervently and with a bit of anxiety. 15, 16. 16. All right. When 16 goes off, my mage armor kicks off. Okay. Then the next spell. Next, uh, uh, next spell I cast is protection from arrows because I see how Shadow is uh, shooting. I don't really blame him. 
I'm, I'm not trying to be a dick, but I, I kind of. How many? How many seconds? It's a third level spell. It's like what nine, eight, yeah, eight, nine. Be nine. Your because next that's initiative what count is time. sixteen. Oh, so oh, nine okay. would be twenty-five. Twenty-five. I'm also recording this, so. All right. Anyone else? Yeah, the orc goes. Ooh, orc goody. Another stab on your fighter. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, but take these. No offense, Shadow. <laughs> hey, right. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking the. the, the I, I missed the fighter. I, I the roll rolls a, too uh, seriously. You know. Um, he, no, roll a ninety-three. Your your AC is a ninety-five, isn't it, there, Kai? Yes. Yeah, your active defense. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay, that's sixteen on seventeen. Uh, how much damage did I take? You no, he he missed you by two. Oh, oh, I assumed a hit. My bad. Seventeen. 18. Stabbing. Uh, Shadow's also on a uh, 18. I thought it was 20 or 21. You're on 20, I thought. Yeah, he's on 20. Oh. Then right. it goes Kai, then I'm on 19, and then Shadow's on 20. But he's on first. Not you. Um, Dude, you know, I almost went there, but I didn't well, think there'd be anybody. I don't know. Third base! 8-7 eight, eight, to hit. 87 to hit. That's a nice chest shot. Uh, roll some damage for me, please. Will do. <laughs> Didn't think anybody would have caught that reference. Was that what you're going to say, Shadow? 14 That's damage. That's exactly what I said. All right. This guy's bleeding really badly. Um, the next person to go, who would that be? Me. Uh, Garrett, what are you doing? Baron at 19. Uh, I'm going to... Sl- I'm- Poking him again, and I'm going to poke him after this too. So that'll be another, another seven after this. So twenty six if oh. it lasts that long. All right. Uh, so uh, ninety six to to hit. Yeah, that that's a pretty nasty wound in his in his stomach area. Yeah, and that's another. Uh, let's see, eight points. That's the one that lays him low. About the same time, your rogue comes over. If the rogue wishes to dispatch the, the kidneys of the bad guy, he can. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, is he helpless? Uh, as the uh, as as he's getting his kidneys cut out of him, yes. Okay. Then I don't need a roll for that, do I? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, nineteen second battle. That's what I kind of want, and, and I like the battles. They feel like they flow better than usual 3-5 Pathfinder-esque. Uh, I know I don't have a full game system detailed here, but I, I wanted to display what I've been working on since the advent of 2nd edition Pathfinder. Once the OSR stuff started kicking off, I, I really started writing and compiling everything I like. These character stories for the most part, are going to be on hold. Maybe some point in the future we'll rejoin their characters. It has been two hours of game, and as they dispatch the foe, one can think that maybe the next five weeks of their lives will be a little bit more relaxed as they're going further down towards the lowlands of the Stoneheart Mountains, towards Grimberg. I really want to say thank you to my players tonight. For putting up with me, for putting up with my variables, with my vagaries on things. I hope that my viewers enjoyed themselves, 
And I really do thank everybody for showing up tonight for this episode of Cable Breakers. Next week, we're going to have an aftermath. And we're going to see exactly how all everybody's feelings came out of this. And I, I know that a complete game system would be superior. But any dungeon master or game master or storyteller that's out there they will tell you that no game is truly complete because they will look at a rule book or they'll look at a setting book. They'll look at something and it's not done yet. And they have to break out a college rule notebook or a trapper keeper. They have to open up a word file and they have to add to it. They have to put in home rules because there are certain things that they're going to see an unfinished manuscript when it's handed to them at the game store. They still have to mess with it. All of us do. All of us do this. This here, I don't plan on making a lot of money with. I'm, we'll have it available for a BGE, and I'll have a, a bucket somewhere. So if you think it's that great, awesome. I would like to say a special thank you to Flady for the springtime gift. That was above and beyond the boundaries of kindness, sir. And I really hope that uh, if there's ever a chance we have to sit down and I could get you a beer and have a few laughs with you over a table and maybe even have you at one of these tables, that'd be fantastic. For everybody else, I thank you for being here with us tonight. I'm going to end the broadcast now. Three, two.